sympathy. I've been living on the road for, for six years. I don't want your sympathy. I don't want your sympathy. I don't want your sympathy. You are seeking political leverage and self-exaltation of my situation. In better days, Olivia McCoy, who represented the nation at two Olympic Games in javelin and discus, brought pride to this country. In her prime in 2005, she set a national record that still stands to this day. Now she sits homeless outside the Cecil Charlton Park in Mandeville, a journey from podium to pavement, or riches to rags, as some would have you believe. What political portion have I spent? Yes, what did you do with your money? I didn't get any money. I was always a patriarch. What do you do? I don't have no money. Representing Jamaica at the Olympics don't pay money. And I never make a final at the World Championships. So what did I do with my money? I put it in my pocket and buy supplement to represent my country, the people of Jamaica. In addition to her athletic record, her achievements in academia are also considerable. I'm 43 years old. I graduated from St. Diego High School, I graduated from Northern Caribbean University, NCU, and I graduated from Louisiana Tech University, Ruston, Louisiana, in the United States of America. My last study was in industrial organizational psychology. I was doing a, mas a Master of Business Administration. My bachelor's is in Business Administration, and I have an associate's degree in Business Administration. And my PhD is in the streets of Jamaica, wicked people. However, questions of Olivia's well-being have focused in on mental health issues, causing some concern among citizens who recalled her exploits in Jamaican colors. There is something that needs to be done. We don't, we, people don't bring pride and joy to our country, and at the end of the time, they are here on the streets, homeless and going through changes. As a government, as a nation, we are all, our bellies are all fat. We are all getting fatter and fatter in Parliament. And there are a lot of things that are going wrong in this society, particularly with the way with which the poor and the disenfranchised are, are held in, in esteem in this country. Adamant that sympathy is not what she needs, McCoy instead hopes to provide some insight into the plight of athletes who find themselves homeless, should she be allowed to hold audience with the sports minister, Olivia Grange. On a serious note, no, I'm not, I'm not joking. Something needs to be done. So if the Minister minister of Sports, Miss Nita Edley, do not know what to do, I'm asking for a meeting with her so I can outline some of the principles. Miss Nita Edley has never run 10, 10, 10 laps around the track. She don't know what athletes go through. Joel Crosskill, CVM News.